Hi, I'm Amanda Davis coming to you from ThinkUp Studios. Now it's time to dive into the instruction part of ThinkUp Math. This is the best part because this is where you come alive as an instructor. We want to partner with you and make sure that we give you everything that you need to deliver great instruction to your students. In this section, you'll find activities, ideas, practice problems that you can try with your students. We want to come alongside you and be the partner in education that you deserve. The concept exploration provides an opportunity for students to experience the unit content in an interactive way. The concept exploration component in the student edition and teacher edition were designed to be used in conjunction. Depending on the unit, the activities are used as an introduction to the concept, a review of a concept, or a follow-up to instruction. When both components are utilized for instruction, students are led to a better understanding of the unit focus and it offers teachers the opportunity to address any misconceptions or confusion before students begin small group or independent activities. As you plan for instruction using the teacher edition, you'll see the activities provide recommended grouping, the time the activity will take, encoding for critical thinking traits, depth of knowledge, revised Bloom's taxonomy, and the ELPS. Most activities suggest formative assessments that afford teachers a window into the level of student understanding. Some activities within the student edition, once again, have critical thinking prompts requiring students to reflect on their learning and the use of the focused critical thinking traits. In Level 5, Unit 11, students work with a partner to complete the concept exploration page in the student edition. In this activity, students are told that a yellow hexagon represents one whole. A student walk through the task on the page. They determine what fractional piece the red trapezoid, blue rhombus, and green triangle represent. The concept exploration is followed up with two open-ended questions regarding the critical thinking traits of strive and reflect. The teacher edition provides instruction, points to reinforce, and sometimes questions for debriefing the concept exploration activity. For example, it is suggested that students should discover that the red trapezoid represents one half, the blue rhombus represents one third, and the green triangle represents one sixth. The next step for instruction is for teachers to display word problems involving addition or subtraction of fractions or mixed numbers with unequal denominators of two, three, or six. An example word problem is provided to get the class started. Then, students stack pattern blocks on the yellow hexagon to represent each fraction or mixed number in the word problem. Students then add or subtract fractions and make trades as needed to simplify the sum or difference. The teacher edition even gives examples of models that students should be creating with their pattern blocks. Once direct instruction of the concept is completed, the next step is formative assessment. The teacher edition provides the question and suggests student groupings and the time it will take to complete the formative assessment associated with the activity. In this unit, it recommends five to 10 minutes and suggests that students work in pairs to answer the question using pattern blocks. By using the concept exploration components in both the teacher edition and the student edition, engaging and effective instruction is easily within your grasp. As a former math teacher, I know how vital vocabulary is in math. On assignments, benchmarks, and STAR, students are required to read and understand academic vocabulary. In my experience, my students understood the process required to solve a math problem, but what stumped them was understanding what the question was asking. Being able to read and write in math is just as important as understanding the computation. Since this skill is so important, we wanted to make sure that we dedicated time in our materials for students to work with and develop their academic vocabulary. Both the student and the teacher editions suggest vocabulary essential in instruction and student mastery of the unit concept. The teacher edition offers a vocabulary activity followed up with a suggested formative assessment. The student edition allows students one more interaction with the unit vocabulary. By reinforcing the terms using whole group, small group, or individual activities, students are able to better navigate that at times challenging unit vocabulary. For our focus unit, the activity is called dry erase race. 
Dry erase boards and markers are distributed to students. The teacher then reads the definition for one of the listed vocabulary words in the unit. Since accurate definitions of terms is important, a glossary is provided at the end of your teacher and student edition. Once the definition is read, each student will record the vocabulary term that matches the definition onto their whiteboard. Once a student has written their word, they will raise up his or her board. The first student to raise his or her board with the correct math term wins a point. As a variation, it could be a race against the clock. A teacher can set a timer and award a point to all students that get it correct and done before the timer goes off. According to the teacher edition, this activity can be done in 10 to 15 minutes, and we recommend doing this individually with a student or a whole group. As for other components, teachers will find suggested formative assessment activities for the vocabulary. In this unit, students are asked to self-assess by creating a T-chart and labeling one column no and the other not sure. Students will then go through this list of vocabulary and categorize each word into one of the columns. As a teacher reviews student charts, they are able to identify difficult words and design the instruction to meet the needs of their students. This would also be a great tool for students to revisit at the end of the unit. Hopefully, they're able to see how far they have come by moving some of those words from the not sure column to the no column. The student edition vocabulary activities go beyond simply writing down a definition. Students are challenged to apply their vocabulary knowledge to complete a task. Students have a list of academic vocabulary found in the unit. The vocabulary mastery activity is located below the word bank. Here, students will color code the heart by following the list of directions. The activity associated with Unit 11 asks students to recreate the heart shape using pattern blocks. The yellow hexagon pattern block will represent one whole. Students will have to represent the heart shape as a mixed number. This is a great challenge for students. The yellow pattern blocks are easily identified in the shape. However, students must strive to complete the challenge of identifying different shapes that create more holes in the fraction of a pattern block that remains unused. As you can tell, students are using their critical thinking skills and knowledge of mixed numbers and whole numbers to complete the challenge. You will notice this section ends by asking the students this question. What challenges did you face as you completed the vocabulary activity and how did you overcome these challenges? Next to this question, you will see the icon for Strive. Strive is one of the nine critical thinking traits that is infused throughout Think Up Math. When we ask students to strive, we are wanting them to use effort and determination to focus on a challenging task. Literature is not just for language arts teachers. Incorporating literature in math is crucial. The teacher edition provides a list of literature that supports the unit concepts. These can be used to introduce, reinforce, or extend the unit concept. These are all common titles that are likely already in your school library. We have just done the work of gathering them into a list for you. A comprehensive literature list can be shared with your campus librarians, or you can use this list to build up your own personal library. Now that your students have been introduced to the concepts and they are comfortable with the vocabulary, we want to develop understanding. Concept development sections are found in both the teacher edition and the student edition. The activities found in the teacher edition provide you with a variety of options so you can choose which activity works best in your classroom. It is important to go through these activities ahead of time during planning to determine materials you may need, the time needed to complete the activity, and what optimal grouping is suggested for the activity. Let's look specifically at Level 5, Unit 11. Five different instructional activities are provided. We will take a look at Activity 2. In this activity, students use Cuisinaire rods to assist in adding fractions with unlike denominators. Next to the activity, we see both a single student and a pair of students, indicating this activity should be completed individually or in pairs. Also, you will see 20 to 30 minutes listed. This is the suggested time it would take for students to work through the activity and provide time for students to process and discuss the outcome. It is so important to informally assess your students' knowledge of a concept as you work through a unit. You do not want the first assessment they take be at the end of the unit. 
By giving formative assessment throughout the unit, you gather important information from your students that will help you drive future instruction to meet their needs. A formative assessment follows a list of instructional activities. In this unit, the teacher is instructed to place brown envelopes containing copies of different word problems in each one around the classroom. There should be one envelope for every two students in the class. On the outside of the envelope, the teacher writes an answer to one of the problems, but not the problem in the envelope. The teacher assigns each student pair an envelope as a starting place. Students read the word problem from the assigned envelope and solve the problem together. When they determine the solution, the pair searches the room for the envelope labeled with that answer. The pair moves to that envelope and solves the problem inside. They continue this process until they make it back to their original envelope. Teachers may use this information collected during the activity to address student misconceptions and to drive further instruction. The student edition concept development supports the teacher edition instruction by offering strategies, tips, examples, and practice with unit concepts. For this unit, students will see step-by-step -step how to use models to add and subtract fractions and how to use a common denominator to add and subtract fractions. Students then have an opportunity to try similar problems on their own in an open response format. This page is designed as an interactive discussion tool for teachers and students. This great reference may be used by students in the classroom or parents or caregivers who wish to assist their child at home. The concept application page in the student edition is an opportunity for students to apply what they have learned. This can be done as a whole group, in pairs, or individually followed up with discussion. The teacher edition equips you with some examples of guiding questions that can be used to review the items in the student edition. This gives you the opportunity to model thinking and the process of answering questions successfully, with hopes that modeling will instill those practices in your students. Let's dive into Level 5, Unit 11, and look at the guiding questions that are provided for Item 1 in the Teacher Edition. For this item, teachers are given four questions to help students understand what makes an answer correct or incorrect. By providing this back and forth conversation, students are able to identify mistakes in their thinking or validate their answer as correct. Finding the solution to a problem is a process, and we do not want to skip over this important process by simply giving them the final answer. I believe that Ralph Waldo Emerson said it best. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. The questions provided in the teacher edition allows your students to see the journey they should have gone on to arrive at the correct destination. Now that you've modeled your thinking, students can apply and discuss what they've learned in the concept practice page of the student edition. Similar in format, the questions offer reinforcement of the unit standards. Motivation Station is an engaging and fun way for students to apply what they've learned. Math teachers will use it for centers, an anchor activity, closure activity, or sponge activity, usually in a game or puzzle format. This is a fun way for students to apply what they've learned.